This episode is part of our Margaret River Beers series. Today's beer is Colonial Small Ale. from Beer Australia Reviews and today we will be sampling, tasting and reviewing another one of the Margaret River beers. This one is Colonial Small Ale. Now I'm not quite sure what a small ale is but when I was reading on the Colonial website earlier it was saying that this one has all of the malt and hop profile of an IPA but they've made it in a 3.5% volume beer. Uh, it's quite funny to call a 3.5% beer a small ale because uh, when I was growing up a 3.5% beer was a standard beer. Uh, anything above 4% was called premium. However, that's changed a little bit in the nowadays. Anything that's like 4 to 5% is standard and anything stronger than 5% is, is more premium. From the website, this one says it has gentle lasting business and is layered with a swift kick of citrus and pine goodness. So that sounds a lot like the, the type of um, IPAs and also pale ales that come from the Margaret River region. Margaret River is in the southwest of Western Australia and it's a nice place to make beer because they, it's a more temperate climate uh, than the capital city of Western Australia which is Perth. Also they have just better quality water so I do like the beers from the Margaret River region and Colonial is actually one of my favourite breweries as well. Uh, one of the best aspects of the Colonial Brewery when you go to visit the venue they let you buy a mixed six pack so uh, last time I was there I bought uh, six beers and this is one of those beers that was in the that was in the six pack. Also on the website Colonial was actually one of the first established uh, micro breweries in the Margaret River region as long ago as 2004 and it's expanding out a little bit now. They also have a production facility in Melbourne, uh, but it's still an Australian-owned company. One of the things that I like about the Colonial branding is just how simple uh, the, the cans look. Uh, a lot of the cans have, uh, a lot of other sorts of craft beers have all sorts of strange uh, pictures and stuff on the cans, whereas Colonial just sort of dial it back. Uh, they have like, one main colour and a highlight colour on the can, and uh, it just says what it does on the tin sort of thing. However, uh, that's the front, that's the back, they do still have the cartoony stuff as well. Okay, now this is the first time I've actually tried the Colonial Small Ale. And, but I, I like the idea of the fact that they're making a full flavoured beer at a slightly lower strength uh, than what is common these days. Okay, so let's have a go. Oh yeah, that is giving me aromas already. That smells a lot like um, an IPA. Uh, it smells like uh, a lot of the other sorts of strong IPAs that come from the Margaret River region. Uh, it's a little bit cloudy. Oh, there's lots of citrus and there's tropical fruits coming from this one. If they've managed to get um, all of that flavor into a 3.5% beer, that is gonna be impressive. Oh, that looks really nice. So we've got some cloudiness. We've got a bit of sediment in the can. So they've made this as like an East Coast Nipah style. Uh, lovely colour, lovely head on that one. That is actually a really nice looking beer. Uh, it's like a deep amber colour, got fizz going through the thing, we can see the cloudiness, it's still got a head on that one, and I'm getting aroma from the thing. That that just bodes really well. So malt on this one, Maris Otter, Munich, Wheat, Cara Munich, Crystal, and Hops Centennial, Chinook and Citra. That sounds like the ingredients of an IPA. Uh, so let's give it a try and see what it's like. Oh, that smells just like a really high quality IPA. That actually smells really good. It's got tangy citrus on there. It's got tropical aromas as well. Uh, th there's no distinct um, particular sort of tropical fruit that's coming out of this one, but it's definitely tropical aromas. It's definitely citrus and it, it's just a, a really nice tang that's coming across. So let's give it a taste. Oh, that is absolutely excellent. <laughs> The fact that they've managed to put that amount of flavour into a lower strength beer is just absolutely fabulous. Oh, it's it's sweet on the tongue. Uh, it gives you an instant hit of uh, happiness, to be honest. Um, I'm getting some grapefruit and like a little bit of drying um, coming through right this second. Uh, let's give this one another go. There's different sorts of fruit tang coming through on this one. There's nothing that actually you can put your finger on and say, oh, that's absolute grapefruits, that's absolute uh, mangoes or, or pineapple or anything like that at all. It's not like a pineapple lump sort of a flavour. But it's just like a, a light tropical and a light citrus flavour coming through. But it's just really well balanced as well. It's got a light bitterness. There's a tiny little bit of grapefruit at the back, but it's more sweet than bitter. 
and uh, it's it feels tangy. It's got a lot of different sorts of textures on the tongue as well. It's cooling. It's refreshing. This is actually, uh, I've got to say, Mr. Colonial, this is actually one of the best craft beer type beers that I've tried in recent months. It's really good. I, I'm surprised I haven't been picked up, up on this one before. Uh, the strength of the beer is not the be all and the end all. It's, this might be 3.5% and some people might scoff at that one and say, hey, I want a beer that's like 6.5%, but it's not just about the hit of the alcohol. It's about the flavor and the experience. And this one is just really nice. I'm really impressed with this one. I'm surprised I haven't tried this before now. This is really good. Oh, I've got to drink some more. Ah, so I've tried a few of the different colonial beers in recent months, and each one of them it's like, hmm, that's that's quite a nice beer. This one, though, I think is the best of the colonial beers that I've tried so far. So I've got a couple of others that I'm going to be reviewing as well in the next few months. Uh, but this one is just, it's really hitting the spot. Uh, it's its light, it's airy, it's citrusy, it's tangy. It has lots of different aromas in there. See if I can actually tie this one down to any sort of particular fruit. Hmm. Getting a bit too used to it now. No. Like bitterness. Sort of a, the, the, the initial tang has gone a little bit now, it's a little bit smoother, but it's just an overall just really nice experience having this one. Uh, if you only want like a, a lighter in style beer, but you still want the flavour, Colonial Small Ale. Right, this is really a, this is really good. So again, this is from the Margaret River region of Western Australia, Southwest Western Australia. It's the wine region, but also to these days, it's a place where lots of new little microbreweries have grown up. Colonial is one of these. It's one of the longer established ones. Like I say, this one was established in 2004. A few of them have been opening up in recent years, uh, but this one, it, it's a place where I like to go and visit. Uh, I've been there a couple of times and had a meal in, in the daytime. And I, I always have like a pint or two and but this one is actually one of the best beers that I've tried from the Margaret River region. It's going right in there, right up alongside a couple of other ones that I could mention, such as um, Kawaramup's um, Hefeweizen uh, and Cheeky Monkey's West Coast IPA. They're my two favourites from the region, but this one is right in there as well. Ah, I'm really impressed with this one, Mr. Colonial. So this is... Uh, Colonial Small Ale from the Colonial Brewing Co. of the Margaret River region of Southwest Western Australia. You should give this one a try. It is really good. Thanks for watching.